wake of this tragedy, the Dadeville community coming together tonight to mourn the loss of their own and also pray for the dozens of others affected. News Leader 9's Reagan Ranzer join us live from Dadeville tonight. Reagan, it was a tough day for the community. Ashley, this is such a devastating time for the small town of Dadeville. Now, last night and almost all day today, crime scene tape was boarding this area. And as you can see right here, there are still some that was left behind. But all day, this whole area was blocked off with crime scene tape and officers and investigators going in and out of this dance studio right here as you can see behind me and that is exactly where the shooting took place now the door is boarded up and if you can see in the glass a little bullets are going through in multiple areas of that building now there was a candlelight vigil earlier today and community members came out to mourn the loss of those lives were lost which were four people as we know at this time in 28 that were also injured and now we still don't know exactly what caused this shooting. And a lot of community members are wondering who are these suspects? We still haven't gotten answers for those and we're hoping to hear more later this week. I didn't know what was going on. I just felt, I just saw blood coming down my arm. April 15th, a day the Dadeville community will never forget. Many gathered at a local dance studio to celebrate a sweet 16 birthday party where things took a turn for the worse. What was supposed to be a celebration turned into a deadly shooting, leaving 28 people in the hospital. Hundreds of community members gathered for a candlelight vigil and to pray for the four lives that were taken far too soon. Kids want some answers as to why this happened. Tanya Cox, a victim who was shot twice in her arm, says the party started out with everyone dancing and having a good time until gunshots turned the party into a horrifying nightmare. Mother said whoever got a gun got to get out and they didn't get out and, and then five minutes later the shots went off and I saw everybody running and I ran in front of a bullet and I got shot and he told me to move, get out the way so I wouldn't get shot. Head football coach of Dadeville High School, Roger McDonald, says he's at a loss for words, knowing one of his own star football players, Phil Stavius Dowdell, lost his life during the tragic shooting. Dowdell was expected to attend Jacksonville State University and was identified as an upcoming member of the program. I knew he was going to be a good player, but I didn't know how good at the time. And uh, Phil was special. He, he was a special athlete and a special person. And he's going to be missed because he's loved by everybody. Antoine Woody, a friend of Phil's, mourns the loss of his best friend of 18 years. I mean, we had a lot of ups and downs, but we always still stayed best friends our whole life. And it's just devastating to see him die. It hurts me. I'm praying for y'all. Ashley, again, this is still an ongoing investigation. We do know that the four people are dead and that 28 have been injured. Now, we still don't know if there is a suspect or not. We haven't gotten any word from Aaliyah yet on that. And so hopefully we'll hear back later this week on that information. We'll keep you updated on air and online with that updated information. Live in Dadeville, Reagan Rands or WTVM News Leader 9. All right, Reagan, thank you so much. A, definitely a rough day out for the Dadeville community today. We are definitely sending all of those families affected our prayers. Well, Governor Kay Ivey responding this morning to the shooting with a statement on social media saying,